Hey everyone, it's Lewis here of Unholy Pizza and today I'm going to show you how to make a thin crust pizza. Um, so I'm going to go for about 600 grams. And it's just cold water, cold water from the tap. Okay, and then next up we're going to do about two grams of using fresh yeast. So for this recipe, um, I'm going to use about 95% zero flour. You can use double zero as well. So I'm going to aim for 950 grams. The other 50 grams that I'm going to put into that is going to be semolina flour. So let's measure out 950 grams. This stuff is called semola rimasonata, if I pronounce it right. Okay, and next up we're going to add 20 grams of extra virgin olive oil. Okay, and then next up, we're gonna do 30 grams of salt. We're gonna add in here about 80, 90% of the water. And then we're gonna add in about half of your flour and we'll just crumble that yeast. Okay, so what we'll do is that we'll let this mix for about five minutes um, until it goes into a, like a bit of a paste. Um, and then once that's a paste, we're then gonna add in the remaining um, flour and then we're going to slowly add in the, the water um, then the oil then the salt and some more water okay so that has been mixing for about five minutes what we're going to do now is add in the rest of the flour and we're going to let this mix now until it's all come together and fully incorporated and what we're going to do now is we're just going to add in a little bit of that remaining water. And then what we do is that we mix it until that water has been fully absorbed. So we're gonna now add the salt, and then we're gonna add in slowly the rest of the water. So that's all the water been added in now. And now add in the olive oil. Okay, so we're gonna let that mix now until it's all fully incorporated. And then we will let that rest for about between 15 and 30 minutes. So it's been resting for about 15, 20 minutes. And then what we're gonna do is portion these up into 320 gram dough balls. And I think that's a quite a good size for like a 14 inch pizza. There we are, so we've got five dough balls. Um, we're gonna let this sit out now at room temperature for about two hours. And then after the two hours, they're gonna go straight in the fridge for about 24 hours. They're then gonna come out, come to room temperature, then they're ready to, to be stretched out. Okay, so this is the dough, which I made uh, just over 24 hours ago. Um, they've come out of the fridge, they've come to room temperature. So let's give your dough ball a nice even coating of flour. What you don't want to do is push the air uh, to the crusts. But the first thing that you need to do is actually just to create that crust. Just get two fingers, and then with your hand, just create a bit of a barrier and just start to form a ridge around your dough. You're now gonna start passing the dough between the palms of your hand. What you can do is then start tossing that and spinning it. I'm gonna do uh, something slightly different. I'm not gonna put sauce on the bottom. Grana Padano, spicy fennel sausage. Okay, so this has been in for about a minute. I've turned the heat off. And what I'm doing is I'm actually using the residual heat to slowly bake the pizza. That's had about a minute on either side. What we're gonna do now is turn the flames back on, but on the lowest setting. 